Hello YouTube, Stefan here and today I want to talk about wireless levers or like activation of, of things. Uh, this is basically about about the following scenario. You might have uh, you might want to have some well first first scenario would be you want to have some lever or button like I had at my door uh, even well you might want to have such a lever that is like free floating or not connected to redstone and you might this um, lever to activate something the second scenario is that you might uh, want to trigger something way in the distance and want to have a like possibly simple way of wireless redstone uh, yeah that's quick as well so yeah well the the way you can activate something with a lever that way is with command blocks and with a command test for block and this is basically giving an output if there is some specific block at some specific place so uh, this command block has the relative coordinates of this place in it and here this these are the coordinates and it checks for a lever with some metadata of 11. How I, c I came to the metadata of 11 I will explain in a minute. So this is pretty simple. Um, this is running on a clock. This command block is getting activated every every tick by this uh, set block clock. Like it, um, This works simply with a command block that sets the, the block above to air and one that says the block below to a redstone block block of redstone here and this is basically uh, replacing this this block of redstone here every tick and hence updating now um, activating the common block here where the disadvantage of this is that it uses a clock so it's um, like it's eating up performance um, like if you have many of them that will be not not the best way to go and if you have some space at the lever like behind it for example anyways you you might want to want to use this solution I built I, I've come up with this is some way to use the lever to activate here in this case this comparator and everything every output attached to it wirelessly without w um, using any clocks so well first of all um, about this data value is um, pretty simple to get <coughs> if you want to build this you you just need to like build this command block and this command block about each other some block of redstone in the middle and some command block next to it that um, checks at the right position you could like use the, the debug you and get the absolute coordinates of this place or you could move a little to figure out which direction everything points and get the relative coordinates you you might know that or well whatever um but but the idea is simply you 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 just use um metadata zero for example and then you activate the lever so you have an activated lever here and the um, error message says you that um, the block at that this position had the data value of 11 and you expected 0 so you can can now just th take this 11 here in this example and say oh nice it's 11 so if it's like for example rotated differently you might just see oh I, I need 10 here and it works so um, to this how this works it a little bit confusing when you when you just view it because all this lever is doing is activating this command block some way but it's already powered by a bl block of redstone so and as well it gets also activated when you disactivate this lever well this command block is basically um, based on the same idea of of the um, block common block block update detector I uploaded once ago, but you need to know that I explain it now. So um, yeah, basically the command of this is just a set block command 
that sets that places a block of redstone right at this place, which you can see, does that with the um, when the lever gets activated and when it gets disactivated. And this block of redstone triggers these three command blocks. This one is the test for a block command block that just checks the lever. So this one is the one um, command block to to really activate. And this then gets the output. And it has to be activated when it uh, well when then this gets disabled. So then it checks again and sees that the lever is off and, and will turn the comparator output off again. So how this works is with this, these two command blocks, well this one just removes the block of redstone here. So pretty, tri trivial, <coughs> pretty trivial here. But this command block has some rather longer command in it. So I um, first explain how it works now. This command block here gets activated um, by by the fact that this command block um, has some metadata well command blocks have some metadata if, um, usually they have the metadata of zero when they are like not powered and one when they are powered by redstone and this changing of the metadata is used by Minecraft to prevent that the command block will get triggered again so um, but but you can use that so um, this command block has actually some metadata of zero that means that it it's basically like if it was not powered so it, it um, likes to be powered now well it is powered theoretically by this redstone block but it has not received any block updates so it hasn't checked for well if it is powered so well but the block update gets um, sent to this command block by the lever so you can well you could could do some other block updates and it will still trigger as you can see here but in this case the lever updates it and well that's basically all all there is to it so the block update detector so it gets activate, uh, updated gets therefore uh, activated and um, now has the, the metadata of 1 and to to get the metadata of zero back this command block is used this has a set block command and these are the relative coordinates of the of of this command block from here and well you you said i i said the this command block sets that place uh, to a command block so well place it's a command block there um with metadata zero this zero is very important and use the replace method because I don't like the destroy method with the particles and everything well whatever and so yeah and here's um, some some NBT data so it's some some brace and then um, the the name command for setting the command of the command block and this C has to be capital here and a colon and then the command of this command block which uh, is like basically exactly this command so this is basically um, the relative position of the block above this command block from the the command block that is summoned back there so it's basically this relative position but backwards and one block higher so it's like here you have 3 and minus 4 and if you, if you already have that you can just negate everything and you get in this case um, 0 here and minus 3 and 4 but you go one block higher so you are just minus 2 and that's the easy way to do it to a redstone block and well that concludes the tutorial I think everybody should be able to build this if you, um, he or she wants I I hope you can find a use for this maybe and I hope this was informative as well maybe I like this creation a lot and uh, so it's actually useful and pretty neat well whatever thank you very much for watching and if you like this video please leave a like maybe 
if you want to say something, comment. I will answer probably uh, when 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 YouTube allows me that. And yeah, goodbye.